Alright. I'm Jay Hoodie. And I'm Drunk Dane. We are. No, no chaser. chaser. What you got on tonight, Jay Hoodie, or uh, what do I have on them, I guess? Yeah, I was going to say this is your bottle. Right? Yeah, it's so Four Roses Single Barrel, and I don't know nothing about it other than the fact that this is numbered. And it is 100 proof. And it is beautiful packaging. The retail on this is $45. Now, there are special batches, and we'll get into that a little later in the video, that cost a little more. But for the purposes of what we're talking about right now, 45 bucks. 45 bucks for a single barrel is usually not too bad. Yeah. And that's, um, now here locally, people try to get this, we may not have it. If you live in a bigger city, you'll probably be able to get just the, the regular old Four Roses as it is for 45 bucks. Okay. But they got special batches, and again, we'll get into that later. I've never had a single barrel, so no. this is going to be new. I've had Four Roses, but not single barrel. All right. So, uh, so without further ado, well, let's just get into it. You know how we do. Rocks. On the rocks. Neat. And the shooter. And the shooter. And again, a little prerequisite here, getting a little something. Get a little, I've already been in a bottle of this, and this is really good. So we're going to pull out the big board while you're doing this, because we may be talking about the big board tonight. We'll see. What we got going on here while he's pouring that up? We got a new camera working on the top end. On the bottom end. So I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see how it works out. At number 10, we got Don Julio 70, which was that good tequila, that white tequila. That was really good. Number 9, The Devil's Sister. Number 8, proper number 12. Number 7, seven Hennessy Pure White. And y'all going on a cruise soon, right? Yes. Going to get some more of that. Tara's so, on a cruise right now. Going to bring, gonna bring some back. All right. Yeah. So we'll, might have to revisit that. Number 6, you ain't seen the last of Elmer T. Lee. Number five, the old man that'll fix your shit down the road. Oh, Henry, Henry McKinnis. McKinnis. <laughs> Ten-year single barrel. Still on the big board after all this time. I love it. Hanging in there. Number four, the most beautiful woman in the history of North Carolina, Miss Ava Gardner. North Carolina, right? Yeah. Select. Number three, Blanton's. Number two, Eagle Rare. And number one, the undisputed champion, Weldon Mills. All mount. I hope y'all can see that. We'll figure out which camera's doing it better. As we go. All right. Ready to get into it. On the rocks. On the rocks. Now, what was the packaging? This is a screw top. No. It's, it's a, cork. a cork. Oh, it is a cork. Okay. Just making sure. Because I knew the last one was a cork. All right, here we go. I know how much you love a cork. Yeah, love a good cork. <laughs> cork soaker. <laughs> All right, on the rocks. Here we go. If has any chance of making the big boy got to hold us on on the rocks. Mm -hmm. I love this stuff. Oh my God. I think it's great. That is a hundred proof with no burn. No burn. I think it's great. Um, that is awesome. Yeah, love it on the rocks. It's, it's nice and strong. It's got a nice uh, finish on the back end. I don't know if it's cherry or oaky. It's very sweet. Yeah, sweet. It's got a sweet. I'm going to lean more towards the cherry or cherry oak. Yeah, it's very fruity. Back end. So I like you. <laughs> kind of fruity. Yeah, kind of fruity. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good on the rocks. And having a little bit of experience with this already, this is kind of the way I preferred to drink it was on the rocks. I mean, hey, what, a hundred proof with no burn gets you in trouble. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, when, when it melts down, it's still not... You know, we did. We don't let them melt down. But if you're sitting around the house drinking this on the rocks, but it's, and it melts down, it's still strong, uh, strong enough. That's what I'm saying. The note, all the flavor notes, still hit even on the rocks. On the rocks. Which I'm, ass really good. I'm assuming we'll get a little more heat off this from neat and shooting it. The shooters, the shooters, kind of rough. Now this is. Let me look at this. Batch number K E. Barrel number 19, 4M. So. You know what I mean? I have no clue. What I'm, I will tell you is this. <laughs> Anytime something's fancy smancy like that, it's good. <laughs> I'll explain to you what that means. What does that mean? When they rack the barrels, it's like a big train track. And right. The barrels they roll. Roll onto them. Right. Well, each slot has a number and the mm. barrel has a number. So that's the rack slot and the barrel number that's on that tag. 
Okay. So you know exactly where it was pulled from in the rack room. Now, what I'm wondering is, is there a retail version of this that's not none of that? Just regular four Just roses? regular four Yeah, there roses. is. It's okay. 20 bucks a fifth. Or 20 bucks a fifth. Okay. Yeah. And what proof would that be? 80? Uh, I think it's 80 proof. 80 proof. Okay. Um, that's it's really harsh. Good. It's really good. I, I'm going to be well, honest with you. Regular four roses is harsh. That's not harsh. No, not at all. That's not harsh at all. Matter of fact, I and like it. I'm going to further explain to you when each rack room has what's called a sweet spot. Okay. And it has to do with the sunlight and the humidity and the weather. And that's where all these single barrel pools are pulled from. Right. Or what's called the sweet spots in the rack room. This is where the best bird. The best of the best. The best of the best comes, and, and they know this about this. So when these barrels go in these spots and these racks, that's where your single barrel pools are pulled from. Well, this was a good pull right here. This, yeah. this is really good. Yeah, again, that back end is really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's really good. And you could, I mean, I'm not a mixer. We don't do that here. <laughs> But I can see you mixing this with a little splash of cola. Mm, this would be good with Sprite. Sprite, yeah, a little splash of Sprite. That yeah. would be great. Yeah. Good with Sprite. Good little splash of Sprite would be good. Oh, this rock pour was so good, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Mm. I mean, so I just wanted to ask you about this tonight because I didn't really watch it. What Was that call in the Super Bowl bad or good? The whole, he yeah. held. Yeah, it was holding. Oh, he told him in the press conference, he held. So it does, the, the Eagles should have won. No, no, the Eagles the held. They set up the game winning field goal. Oh, so he did hold. Yeah, he held. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted to make sure. I mean, he even admitted it in the press conference. He grabbed his jersey, hoping he, nobody saw it. Right. What do you think about Alabama being the number one basketball team in the country? Well, <laughs> roll, roll time. Roll tide. all right. Hey, look, we didn't win a natty in football. If we can get one in basketball, that's a good comp. That's a good. That's a good second prize. Exactly. <laughs> that's a good second exactly. prize. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm. Well, we play mm -hmm. Tennessee tonight. Mm -hmm. This is really good. All right, we're moving on to the neat pour now. This is going to be a different experience because some of that harshness you were talking about might come out in this. Matter of fact, I got to clear my palate here. I could definitely see coming home from work. And we'll put you a little pour of that on the rock. Oh, yeah. I like the splash of Sprite idea. Back pour short. Yeah, back pour short. Back pour short. All right, here we go. Got to hit this neat pour. I want to smell it. Does that smell Yeah. You always smell it before you put it in your mouth. <laughs> it stinks. You better get the hell out of the dog. <laughs> life, life, life. No, that life. was lick it before you stick it. No, but you want to smell it before you lick it. Right. You might not want to have licked it. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm just saying. Yeah, maybe I went too far to start with. <laughs> <laughs> should, have, should have been more cautionary. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. It's very sweet on the smell. Neat pour. I hope it's got that cherry or that oaky back in. Very like. fruity. It ain't harsh. It definitely, Still no it, it, yeah, it's definitely not harsh. Wow. I don't get I'm not getting the the tones of the flavors like I was in the uh Well, you know, sometimes water on the brings, rocks. Um, you know, sometimes with bourbon and whiskey brings out the flavor. That water or ice will bring out more notes. Right. Um, but definitely not harsh. Dude, this does not drink a hundred proof. No, it doesn't. That is This is not good for a Wednesday night. No, nah, this <laughs> you gotta go to work in the morning. No, nah, this will get you where you want to be for sure. Mm. I only got to work till eleven though. Yeah, that's good. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, I think. Well, you could drink this either way. Uh, um, yeah. Well, the thing about this, I is, might prefer it like that. The thing about this is, is I would get foobard on this. Well, and yeah, and but I'm gonna tell you now. I'm. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna like the shot. I think this is more something. I won't sip. Oh, that's about the second dumbest thing you said. 
And what was the first, pray tell? <laughs> no, not on video. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. I got to get something. And that time I did get the cherry back in. Yeah, that back in, there's some kind of fruity or oaky. And I guess that's to be expected because this is a sweet spot in the in the row. But it's definitely got something on the back end that is really, and it's nice and it's subtle and it's kind of sweet and it kind of mellows out the, the whole. Very mellow. Yeah, yeah, it mellows out the whole thing. I'm just amazed that this is 100 proof. I know. Because it definitely does not drink 100 proof. Now, now I'm going to go and tell you right now, before we get into any kind of rating, that 100 proof, 45 bucks, as mellow and as sweet as that is, it's worth 45 bucks. Well, now, this is for this. So now I'm going to go on and get into the reason why this bottle is sitting here. This is not the bottle that we were supposed to be doing tonight. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> First of all, I want to give a shout-out to a good friend in the channel, uh, David B. Um, from all the way on the side of the other side of the state. It might be down in South Carolina somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but he sent me, <clears throat> as a Christmas gift, a, a bottle of this that was the South Carolina Select. And I actually think it was 101 proof. And it was a little more expensive. It was, I think it was on the $80 side. And I dropped the ball. Now, I have an excuse, but I did drop the ball. Around the time when he had sent me that bottle, I got COVID. The girlfriend got COVID. We were both laid up in the house. And, you know, people call you and they say, hey, what do you need? We'll do a, we'll do a drop on your porch. But you really don't want to bother nobody. And we was well, so no, we're fine. We don't need anything. But I was out of liquor. I'm, gonna be, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I was out of liquor. And all I had was that bottle that you sent me. Is that a dub? Yeah. And and I drank it. I drank it. And I didn't get any of it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but I know that when you sent me this bottle, you were really looking for a review. So we did the best we could. No, he did the best he could. I would have saved the bottle. He would have saved the bottle. But that's because he has 80 <laughs> bottles of liquor in there. I don't have I don't have 80 house. bottles you, of liquor. You got that. I have 67 <laughs> bottles yeah, of you liquor. You got 67 bottles of liquor in there. I have no bottles of liquor. Well, you should have called me. I'd have dropped the one off on your porch. <laughs> <laughs> you got around this whole situation. That's right. We got around this whole situation. <clears throat> but I wanted to give you your proper review and your proper shout out. I appreciate the gift. It was beautiful. Stay, stay around for the end of the video for the rating because I'm going to give you a proper rating too because I really love this alcohol. It's really, really good. So that's why we're at where we're at. That's my bad. As a joke and a side note, that's what you get for sending something to somebody called Drunk Night. Well, <laughs> from now on, if anybody wants to send us a bottle... Send here. it to Jay Hoodie. Please send it to me. And and he'll him. keep it because he can go drink apple vodka. That he has, mm, or whatever. Yeah. I don't. Have, I don't have that. So anyway, that's why we're at where we're at. That's my bad. I appreciate the gift. It was an awesome gift. I appreciate you. The channel appreciates you, and we're gonna do the best we can with what we got. And that's where we're at. So speaking of appreciation, if you like these videos, like, follow, subscribe, subscribe, share if you dare. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. No, me and mom might see it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to share it on my Facebook. Well, he was down there at the, uh, I don't know, I don't want to call no church's name. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning, and then you was liking Jay Hoodie's videos yeah. on, on Monday morning. Well, but had anyway. To, had to go to the altar. <laughs> yeah, had to go to the altar. But that's how we got where we are. And like I said, that's my bad. Um, I, you know, it was good. And this is good. So. Yeah. So no controversy, no story. Just wanted to give my man his proper shout out. I appreciate the gift. It was awesome. This appreciate awesome. you watching. <laughs> we appreciate you watching. All right. So where are we at, Jay Hoodie? Shooter. Shooter. I really don't think that I'm going to like this on the shooter. And when I drank the bottle the first time, I because I don't shoot. When I'm at home, I don't shoot. 
I mean, it's not for everyone. You know, I, do, I, I, I literally sip. Right. So, I'm well, a, that's the difference between me and you. You're, you're, no, <laughs> you, you said that like you meant something by it. No, I didn't mean nothing by it. You'd rather see if I'd rather shoot. Yeah, that, yeah, and so I did not shoot this. So this is going to be a new experience. Because um, you know how I drink my E-Dub, I just drink it out of the pint bottle. Yeah. And the same thing with when I'm drinking other stuff at home. I might pour it in a glass, but I don't, Yeah. I, you know, I sip it. Yeah. So anyway, here we go. I'm rambling on, as always. Shooter. Actually, not bad. Because I was thinking um, this is where the harshness was going to come out. And, and there it is. did a little bit. Right. Just, just a touch. A little bit. Um, not much. Not, not. It does not shoot like Hunter Proof should. Right. And when I say that, that does have a little bit of a back end, though. I'm just right. Saying, uh, now, that was the only thing that had the slightest little bit of burn to mm -hmm. it. Um, you can tell it; it's a hundred proof on the shooter. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that, that's, um, that's definitely. Well, it's got my nose it. running. <laughs> Clear your sinuses. But uh, COVID shot every day. <laughs> still good on the shooter. Though. Yeah, it's great though. Um. I'm just amazed that this is a hundred proof and it does not drink like it's hundred proof. Right. And it's, um, it's, it's like I said, other than the shooter, <clears throat> even when you're sipping it, it's not as bad on the back. Of um, this is, it, it can it, breathe when it breathes a little bit more too. It might make if, a difference. If a newbie drank this first, they'd be like bourbon ain't shit. Right. Well, then they'd know it in about <laughs> 35 minutes. Well, well, yeah. We're going to do one more. We got a little controversy. I didn't well, think we was going to have no controversy. Oh, well, I like controversy. But we need a little controversy. Controversy means because... I get another shot. Actually, I think this might make a difference for you. I know where I'm at on it. Okay. Because, like I said, I drank my man's bottle prematurely. That's my girlfriend. Everything in my life is premature. <laughs> He said it, I didn't. <laughs> That's clean joke. That's clean joke. <clears throat> All right, here we go. The clean joke? Shoot her one more time, and then we're going to give it a rate. I want you to go first, I want because I want to see where you're at on this, because there's a lot of controversy over this this alcohol right here. Um, <clears throat> not per se about um, whether people want to drink it or not, but whether it's good or not. A lot of people will say that the retail version of this, the retail version, the regular version, the regular version, is is overhyped and over. You know what I mean? I can go ahead and tell you right now. <coughs> Having regular four roses, the twenty dollar bottle, right? And this, it's I, completely different. I don't like the twenty dollar bottle. Right. The regular is harsh. It. I mean. And I'm going to tell you, the, the original bottle that I had of this that David B. sent was even smoother than this. But this, if I if I was going to buy Four Roses product, it would be this one. Yeah, because it's the, yeah, it's the right. median. And then... Yes, it's $25 more than the other Four Roses. But, but it, it makes all the difference in the world. makes all the difference in the world. I would not... I can buy a better bourbon or whiskey for $20 than Four Roses. But the single barrel is excellent at 45 bucks. So it's right on point. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's shoot it one more time and then get some ratings because I don't, you know, this is going to be kind of interesting here. Smooth. Mm. There's really beer in there. I'm not chasing. <laughs> Well, there is. Daddy. Want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. I want to hear okay. your thoughts. I'm interested on your thoughts on this. Like I said, having just the regular 80 proof, regular whatever it is, four roses. Right. And then having this, that's like night and day. Regular four roses is harsh. It's. Is it cheap tasting? 
it's a twenty. I mean, it's what you would think when you pay twenty dollars right. for a fifth of burger. Right. <laughs> right. Aristocrat costs more than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it really doesn't. I mean, but. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If you're gonna buy regular Four Roses, just go only get you a bottle of Kentucky Gentleman. And yeah, right. And be done with it. Same thing. This is amazing. Hundred proof. Does not drink like it's a hundred proof. You could sit. I could sit this all night. Now I would pay for it later. Yeah. I mean, because it is a hundred proof. Right. So it's, you know, it's going. No matter. It's going to sit on you in two no hours. No matter whether it drinks a hundred proof or not, it's a hundred proof. Right. But this is amazing for the price point for a <coughs> single barrel, hundred proof bourbon. This is absolutely a five. 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 There it is. This I is don't absolutely really five. That. That's what I thought. Just for the price point alone. Yeah. The proof and how smooth it is. This is absolutely <coughs> a five. So we have a chance at the big board here because we not. It's no longer an automatic entry. Because you have to leapfrog somebody to get on there now. Right. So. But I'm the same, like, and, 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 and I wish, again, that I hadn't have done what i done and because I, I would have loved to have the other one to compare it to because it was even smoother and better. And I will be buying a bottle of this to keep my clay. Right. So, yeah, I'm the same. I don't really have much to add other than, like I said, the original bottle was even better than this. It was a five for me then. It's a five for me now. That's what it is. I've never drank the retail version. And look, look I'm not you. going to. Look, now at, that, look at you. <laughs> now that I know. So it's the five. So now we got a little bit of business to tend to. Does it make the big board? Yeah. Now, we're going to have an argument here. For me, for me. Well, I can tell you where it goes. It goes right up under Hennessy Pure White. I'm knocking Don Julio off the board. I that's agree. that's my opinion. I agree. You agree? Absolutely. Don Julio comes off. Great tequila, by the way. It's We're not it. tequila people, though. Right. It, it, it right. was amazing for Don Julio even to make the board. Right. We are bourbon I mean, whiskey guys. It, right. so the fact that Don fact Julio that was even Don on Julio. there is a testament to Don Julio. Exactly. But we're going to put this eight, right? Yes. I and agree. That will pop Devil's Sister down to 10, proper number 12 down to 9, and your new entry on the big board is your Four Roses. Now, we're not going to call this what it is because um, Single bear. my dumb ass drank the other bottle, so we're going to call this what it is. This is not the South Carolina batch. It is just the regular number. If anybody knows where I can batch. get one of those North or South Carolina batches, Please, David. Me. David B. probably does. <laughs> let, let me know in the comments because I'd like to purchase one. David B., if you can get a hold of another yeah, one. Yeah, he won't us, drink it like I did. He'll, he'll. I will cash app you <laughs> the money if you'll send it to me. Just let me know. Yeah. Because if this is this good I, and you said the other, it, one the other better, one's better. The other one is even better. The, even the original better. bottle. That was sent from my good fan is better than this. Then I would really like it's to smoother. try the other bottle if I can get And it's my one more on. proof. It's 101. Oh. Yeah, it was nice. 101. Nice. You, know, you got the extra little proof there. So it might have been like three barrels earlier. That's right. My, my, my bad. Three barrels <laughs> three, down. Three barrels down. Two barrels down. You're drinking and having a party. <laughs> Hey, Jay Hoodie. He's drug dangerous. Yeah, we are. No chaser. Join us for back porch shorts. It's coming up. 